so what what would you say is the difference between the mindset of working mm -hmm. in a cubicle or mm -hmm. in an office or for someone else in general and going at it on your own well i think it comes down to motivation and i think that people that are in the corporate world that are kind of and there's nothing wrong with the corporate world i just want to say i'm not poo-pooing it but it's not for everybody and um, and so I think there's a lot of extrinsic motivation in the corporate world where you're uh, tied to the paycheck, and that is really the reward you're getting. You're you're rewarded by a nice salary, security. Um, you don't have to really like. I mean, you have to perform. Predictability. You can't get fired. Yeah. You know, but you you don't have that kind of on the edge of your seat kind of feeling that the company's going to go down in any minute. Mm -hmm. you, you know, it's very kind of predictable. And then I think initially maybe you're excited about your 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 industry but then after a while you kind of lose that kind of sense of what am i doing here am i really contributing i think that a lot of people in the corporate world feel like they're not really contributing and they there was a statistic you just recently read 82 percent of people are unmotivated at work and so it's that's a lot of people and it, it's because of that extrinsic motivation the reward is the paycheck more than them actually going to work and being like, I'm really contributing, I'm making meaning mm. in my life, I'm doing something really pa that I'm passionate about. It's I'm doing it so I can get my kids through college and, and, and uh, pay the rent, pay the rent <laughs> and have that nice house that I yeah. want, go on vacations, uh, and then that everything's about that time off. That's actually one thing that I realized too when um, I got laid off one of the times. My at one time I broke an engagement and I got laid off and then I lost, we, you know, we sold the house I lived in. So I was like that time where everything was taken away. And I remember I, I had some unemployment and I had some, uh, some um, severance from the, the job and I had a little time off and I was like, wow, it's so nice to have this space. And when you're in the corporate world, you don't realize how much limited time you have to do anything because most of the time, and mm -hmm. well, maybe not now, but most of the time people spend commuting, working long, especially if you're making good money, you're not working 40 hours a week, you're working 60 hours a week, you're traveling, you're away from your family. So it, it's like you're giving up a lot for that money. Just and then so the entrepreneur is someone who's intrinsically motivated. Mm. They are, I mean, they want to make money, obviously, they want to be financially free but they're doing something that they're really passionate about and it doesn't feel like work. So you get the financial reward, but also you get to create something. And I remember when I left the corporate world or I, I was laid off from the corporate world, uh, I remember thinking to myself, I don't know if I can do this. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it and make the same, even, I was shooting for just half of what I was making before as a salary, just, just to survive. Yeah. I was like, I just wanna do what I love. But I said, you know what? I just want to see what I'm made of. I want to see, you know, I've been putting this off for so long. I kept like putting it off for years. And I said, I just want to make it, just go all in. 